Matty Pick here with another episode of Steelers Worm. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Kenny Pickett. That's right, Kenny Pickett. Why am I talking about Kenny Pickett when he's not on the Pittsburgh Steelers roster anymore? When we've got Justin Fields, now have Russell Wilson. Because I've seen a lot of feedback around and a lot of detention on social media, a lot of commentary, a lot of complaining in comment sections of different Steelers podcasts and media out there around was Kenny Pickett a wasted pick? That's right. Was Kenny Pickett a wasted pick for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Did the Pittsburgh Steelers get it wrong like they supposedly have um, a number of times of last few years, but they definitely have in other cases when you think about like an Artie Burns, a Devin Bush, all those sorts of guys. I think it's interesting in terms of was Kenny Pickett a wasted pick for the Pittsburgh Steelers? You got some, something for him. Point number one, you got something for him. You got a third round pick for him two years later, right? Things go backwards in value. He, you managed to get, they still get a, a pick, right? Now, if, if he hasn't proved himself as a first rounder and still is moving on, why would we expect a first rounder for him? You wouldn't. So I think with that in mind, from a draft perspective, at least you've got back some level of draft capital. Secondly, if you look at the prospect that is Kenny Pickett, and the fan base is very divided on this. There are some people that do not want, just, want Justin Fields for the Steelers, that he's going to be a worse quarterback overall than Kenny Pickett. Fine. But a lot of the, for the people out there that believe that Justin Fields is a much better talented starting NFL quarterback, you got Justin Fields for a sixth, potentially a fourth if he plays 51% of the snaps, according to reports. You look at that in context, Steelers did really well out of Kenny Pickett. Secondly, we know the 2022 draft was not a good draft for quarterbacks, right? And Kenny Pickett, though, if you compare to the guys that came out in 2023, would still have probably been somewhere around that top three or four. If you look at the actual games that he's won, he's won those games. You can say that the defense won games all you like, but he hasn't thrown four or five interceptions. We've seen that from many quarterbacks that have come to the league over the last few years. Think of like people like Nathan Peterman. Um, we can think about at times of Josh Rosen. We can think about the disaster that was Johnny Manziel in the NFL. So from that perspective, at the end of the day, Kenny Pickett, in terms of the draft capital they got, is enough for the Steelers in many ways to have said it was what, you know, that, that's one reason why it wasn't a wasted pick because you, you got to try something, you got it back. That's kind of point number two as well. You tried something. Every fan out there, whether they're angry with the Kenny Pickett move, whether they are happy with the Kenny Pickett move, and I think the majority are happy with the Kenny Pickett move, particularly because of the narrative that he didn't react to Russell Wilson coming down, you know, to the Steelers as well. Um, and you think about Broderick Jones last year, every still, uh, like in terms of a tackle, Here's a good case and example of why the Steelers and needed to draft Kenny Pickett. Why do I say that? That seems like a very odd thing to say because you have to take a chance in that first round. You want to the draft is a gamble. There is no guarantee that any prospect that enters the draft, whether they're drafted or a UDFA, is going to pan out. It is what it is. Kenny Pickett was the best prospect in that draft. Now, Sam Howell got drafted late. He was probably worth a third round when you look at where people were drafted, but he's not going to be a, probably not going to have a long career. He was drafted in the fifth round. Um, not to say that he can't, you know, turn things around, but the talent's not there. And many people in many other drafts would have said Kenny Pickett is probably the second or third round. But the Steelers needed a quarterback. Big Ben was gone. Yes, it had Mitch Trubisky. But the fan base out there, with how far we are all now going down the center path and the right tackle park at the end of this year's draft and maybe even cornerback, the Steelers could not afford to not try and get that quarterback. And in fairness to Kevin Colbert, and I've been very cr critical of Colbert over the last few years, but particularly in this offseason because you're seeing the after effects of some of the poor work that he did, all the mistakes that he made toward the end of his career. In fairness to Kevin Colbert, he probably was just trying to leave the Steelers with something, right? At least a, a capable quarterback that can win in the NFL. Kenny Pickett has a winning record in the NFL. So that's point number two. Point number three is that ultimately, ultimately in the NFL, not, there is not going to be franchise quarterback after franchise quarterback after franchise quarterback. There's going to be a select group of guys that are franchise quarterbacks. There are a lot of guys who are after the round one that are not franchise quarterbacks. And to put that expectation that Kenny Pickett was going to be that guy just because he went to the University of Pittsburgh, just because they won the ACC title, just because they created a whole new rule because of him. It's a very unfair expectation as to why he needed to pan out. Point number four is that it's not Kenny Pickett's fault that he was put in the Canada system. It's not Kenny's fault that he was the best talented quarterback in that draft. There are guys that went back and played another year. CJ Stroud could have come out, for example. Um, and so... Jaden Daniels is an older quarterback. Bo Nix is an older quarterback. Bo Nix would have been a third or fifth round pick. 
Penix with his injury history would have been a, a, a fifth round pick at best probably. So Sam Hartman decided, decided to go from Wake Forest to Notre Dame and he's in this draft. So there are definitely some guys that could have been there in that draft. Now he probably still, uh, compared to most of those guys, if Bo Nix didn't have the year they had this year, um, neither Penix. Kenny Pickett might well have still been the best guy on that list, right? And so ultimately it's not Kenny Pickett's fault where he's drafted. He was the best prospect in that draft. And as I said, that's where the Steelers went to get him. And so when I say this third reason around why it, that's different to the Steelers just picking the first round guy, it's that you are basically now trading a guy that is probably seen as a – he, he started in one games. So he's a, a more he has more proven um, performance on the board than a Bo Nixon and a Michael Penix Jr., who are both going to be very system quarterbacks. And I, I hazard to guess – the Bo Nix does not have as many wins as a starter that Kenny Pickett has through two seasons or at least through the same number of games. So anyway, I'd love to know what you think in the comments section, um, whether you think that the Kenny Pickett was worthy of that pick, was the pick a wasted pick. You can always say a first round pick's a wasted pick when they don't pan out. But the Steelers, unlike a lot of these other wasted picks that they've wasted picks that they've had, actually got something in return rather than keeping on trying with Artie Burns and keeping on trying with Devin Bush. But anyway, you let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And I will be back in my hometown, Sydney, Australia, and we'll resume my usual content in a matter of less than 24 hours. So I'm really excited to do that. Excited to be home, been traveling this week. So we've seen less on the channel. Did have a really good show with Channel White. So you can go back and listen to that. That will pop up um, probably as a prompt at the end of this video. But as always, go Steelers.